Here is how to take back control and stop the bombardment and onslaught of notifications to your iPhone and iPad. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I'm going to show you how to manage notifications the best way possible on iPhone and iPad with iOS 15. Later this year, Apple will be releasing iOS 16, which has even more new features to help you manage your notifications. But I'll save that for a later video. For now, let's get into getting to manage notifications on your iPhone and iPad. Let's start with alert styles. We're gonna jump into the settings app and then go down to notifications. Alert styles are set up on a per app basis. So you'll see we have notification style here. That's somewhat just alert style. So if we go into something like the App Store, I can choose what type of alert I would like to see. Lock screen alerts, notification center alerts, or banner alerts. Banner alerts will slide down while you're doing something. Notification center will just appear in notification center and the lock screen will show on the lock screen. I can enable or disable any ones that I want. I'm fine with alerts from App Store showing up in notification center, but I don't want to get a notification from App Store while I'm doing stuff with a banner. So I can turn that off. I can also turn off sounds and badges if I don't want to have those showing up. You can also toggle on critical alerts. These will still show even when your phone is muted or you're on a focus mode that typically silences alerts. Next up, let's look at how to use notification summary. Notification summary is super helpful. Basically, it allows you to offload alerts that you don't need right that second to later points of the day. And then you'll get a whole summary of all those alerts all at once. So if I jump in here, I can turn on notification summary, scheduled summary, it gives you this little rundown of what you're actually gonna be doing. So scheduled delivery, and I can get what's important. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. Now for this summary, because my first one, I'm creating which apps I want to see in my summary. Things like the App Store are not time sensitive for me. So I'll put them in my summary so I don't have to see them throughout the day. And I can show more. Maybe I can turn on uh, health alerts. I don't need to see those right away. iTunes Store, uh, things like that are pretty fine. I'll do reminders and news tips as well. So I'm gonna add those six apps to my scheduled summary. By default, you can see we have 8 a.m. as my first summary, and I have a second summary here at 6 p.m. You can add additional summaries if you want, so maybe I wanna get another one just around a lunch break at, say, noon. So that way I have one in the morning when I'm getting started with work, I have another one uh, right around noon, and then I have a third in the evening as I'm sitting down and kind of relaxing. So I can get three different summaries throughout the day. Then go ahead and turn on notification summary. I can hit show next summary, and I can also view the apps that are in the summary right there at the bottom. If you want more customizations, you can use the group notification option. To view the grouped notification settings, I can jump into an app such as App Store, and I can go down to the bottom, and there's notification grouping. When I tap on this, it's automatic, but I can also do it by app or off. Just choose your preference there. Finally, what I think is one of Apple's biggest changes to iOS is focus modes. Let's look at how to create different focus modes and how those you can use to tailor notifications based on what you're doing. For focus, I'm gonna head back to the root of settings, scroll down and tap on focus. By default, Apple of course has do not disturb as already an option, already configured, ready to go. But you can create new options for personal, sleep, or work. If none of those work, you can tap on the plus button in that top right hand corner where you can choose from other predefined focus modes or create an entirely custom one here at the top. Say we wanna create one for working out. When I'm working out, I wanna see only certain notifications and from certain people. So I don't wanna receive any alerts from other people while I'm working out. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that as allow none. But I may wanna receive notification, notifications from certain apps. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on plus. I wanna still get alerts from Find My for whatever reason and from health in case I just have a health update. So I can go ahead and choose those two and hit done. Now, while I'm in this focus, I will only receive alerts from Find My and Health. And I'll get time sensitive notifications for anything that's specific. So one like home or anything that you have listed as time sensitive will still be delivered immediately. Now I can go hit head and hit allow. It'll give me a rundown of that fitness focus. And because it's a fitness focus, it can automatically turn on when I go to do a workout, which is really handy. You can do similar things with stuff like the sleep focus. Sleep focus can automatically be enabled 
when you go to bed and turn on sleep from your Apple Watch. Then it'll go ahead and cover your Apple Watch face so it's dim while you're sleeping. And when you turn off your alarm in the morning, it'll automatically turn off that sleep focus. Focuses can also be customized based on your location, time of day, and more. So that pretty much covers it. Those are the big things that you need to know about notifications. Hopefully this reduces the stress of notifications in your life. Let me know if there are any other tips that you want to see down below in the comments or just ask me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And stay tuned, when iOS 16 is released, I'm going to show you all the new features to notifications that Apple's ready to release.